Brandon is 29 years old and he still hasn't hit puberty. How can this be possible? I'll fill you in today on IO. What is good? This is Inform Overload where we overload you with information. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Going through puberty can be a really tough thing. It's Probably the worst part of your life, in my opinion. Your hormones are all over the place, your parents hate you, and you hate them. There's a reason why grade 8 girls are basically monsters and grade 8 guys are obsessed with sex. Puberty. But can you imagine never going through puberty at all? Yeah, me neither, but for one 29 year old man, that's a reality. Brian Westfall is 6 foot 3, but even though he's super tall, he's basically a 29 year old man trapped inside the body of a 14 year old boy. When he was young, he always felt like there was something wrong with his body, but he never really thought much of it. But when he tried to join his high school soccer team, he had to get a physical exam. He asked his doctor why he hadn't hit puberty yet, but his doctor shrugged it off and said that Brandon was a late bloomer. After high school, he went from being 5'4 to 6'3 in just a few months. Brandon and thought, finally, I'm going to go through puberty now. But still, puberty never hit. And in case you're wondering, not going through puberty has a lot of downsides. First of all, it's embarrassing. Brandon doesn't have a sex drive, and he has absolutely no desire to meet women. Brandon can't grow facial hair, his voice hasn't gotten any deeper, and other things have not fully developed, if you catch my drift. He is having difficulty getting a job because workplaces don't believe that he's 29 or has had any experience. Brandon suffers from a rare genetic condition called Kalman syndrome. A person with Kalman syndrome either doesn't go through puberty at all or puberty is delayed. It's caused by a severe hormonal imbalance. Kalman syndrome can also delay your sense of smell. Weird. His condition is what put a strain on his marriage. Brandon is now divorced. So what's the solution? Well, he really should have been treating his condition for a long, long time. For the last two years, he's been on testosterone replacement therapy. Being someone who has difficulty finding employment, this is expensive for Brandon. He has set up a GoFundMe page and I'll post a link to that in the description of this video. For now, he's mostly just living with it. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for you on that. I'm going to respond to some comments now. Miranda Panda said this channel should have a sh** ton more subscribers. I say this every day. Wired Eating said this channel gave me diabetes type 3. You should get that checked out, man. Can't be good. JR says, I owe claims to offer potatoes but never gives any. Well, we give potato jokes. I feel like that's better than potatoes. You want me to actually send you a potato in the mail? Potatoes go bad. Jokes don't. Or do they? That's all folks, thanks for watching. If you learned something from this video, make sure you smash the like and subscribe to IO for the weirdest news on YouTube. If you wanna go on an IO binge, check out this playlist right over here. And while you're at it, why not follow me and IO on social media? I'll post our links down below in the description. Okay, I'm really going now.